First you have to open your browser and uh, head over to Garmin Connect's uh, homepage and log on to your Garmin Connect account like this. Uh, when you're in you're, you have to go down to uh, look up your activities and select all activities. Here are a list of my activities. Uh, if you want uh, only sport specific activities you can select the sport you like. Uh, here I will select all my activities and uh, you have to scroll down and select or make visible all the activities that you want to export to Excel. I will scroll down all the way so I have so I can use all my activities from this year. So I have to make visible all the activities for January until the 1st of January okay here we are so all my activities are now visible so I just scroll up again to the top and I go over here to the menu that says export to CSV then you can see the file is downloaded here I can just uh, show folder and I see that uh, I have uh, downloaded some files before but this is the file I exported now so it's stored in my uh, downloads folder now you can open up uh, Excel and empty workbook like this uh, to put in my uh, data I have to go over to uh, data and uh, insert data from text or CSV I have to go to my download folder and select my exported file and press import Now you will have a new window that uh, will suggest uh, this and all the different data from the file is divided into separate rows and columns. It's, it looks pretty nice. If you just uh, open the the file straight from the Windows Explorer you just it will just be a mess so you have to choose import from from data and from text and CSV file then this window will pop up and it's uh, it is actually alright and you press this button Now all the data from the file is loaded and you can scroll down and you see that all activities from uh, today and back to uh, the 1st of January even from December last year is also loaded. Nice. can just close this window. Uh, now you can uh, choose which data you actually want to have in your your excel file 
for me it's uh, useless to have all this different data about temperature, stroke, interval, best lap, number of laps and all this stuff. I actually just want to have uh, activity type, date, uh, title, distance and time. For me that's the most important uh, data to have. So I can just uh, select this. If I want to delete this I click delete. Now it's gone. Uh, calories I don't want to have. Uh, select the column and delete. And also the rest of this I just want to delete. So I do like this, select it and click delete. Now it's nice. Uh, I also want to I don't want to have this drop down menu. So I just do like this and filter and sort and press this. So this is gone. Uh, usually I want to have my uh, date first. So uh, I just do like this and uh, insert a new column and uh, select this and move it over here so that the first column is the date I think that's best and I delete this now it looks much better So you can just uh, choose uh, whatever you like, uh, which uh, data you like and uh, so on and uh, you will actually have a pretty nice workout uh, diary for your own. Okay, thank you, that's all.